Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video, guys. First things first, make sure you smash the like, subscribe if you're new around here, and as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And with just five games remaining this season, the transfer window getting ever closer, rumours are starting to hot up about players who could potentially be joining Chelsea. As Chelsea fans, have not had much to celebrate over the last couple of years on the pitch, but when it comes to the transfer window, we are always busy and there's always stuff going on. And in today's video, I'm going to be addressing a couple of transfer rumours that have been doing the rounds over the last day or so. And they involve two attacking players, Manchester City's Jack Grealish and PSG's Javi Simons. Now, Simon Phillips, who's very reliable, reporting that one of his top sources has said that Chelsea are internally discussing the possibility of signing Manchester City's Jack Grealish. Now, obviously, we know we're going to be in for attacking players this summer. Definitely a centre-forward. I wouldn't have thought that a wide player was necessarily a priority for us this window unless someone leaves. I'm sure Chelsea would love to move on Raheem Sterling if they possibly could. Not sure what the future plans are for Noni Medawake and Mikhailo Mudrik. Uh, next season, would they are Chelsea open to selling already? Or would they think maybe a loan might be good? I'm, I'm not too sure, but for sure, Chelsea would love to try and get rid of Raheem Sterling, get his wages off the books. Um, and look, Jack Grealish is an interesting option. Chelsea were linked with Grealish when he was at Aston Villa. Um, he's gone to he's gone to Manchester City, and his game is is definitely changed. He's been successful there. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Grealish. You know, he, he was an integral part of the side that that won the treble last season. Um, and look. He's not the same player he was as he, uh, at Aston Villa as he is at Manchester City. Pep Guardiola's got him playing in a very different way. That free-flowing, shackles-off, attacking style of football that we saw from him at Aston Villa is not been seen at Manchester City. Uh, you know, yes, he's important. Yes, you know, he contributes in a different way. But those goals and assists that he was getting at Villa that earned him that big move in the first place uh, are few and far between at City. But I don't think Grealish should be judged as as being a bad player because he's not the same player he was at Villa compared to what he is at Manchester City. I think there's a very good player in there. I think in the right system, uh, flourishing, you know, with a more with a more with more freedom, um, you can see Grealish doing what he was doing at Villa and to a better level. Now, of course, would Manchester City be open to selling him? I don't know. They spent hundred million pounds on him. Uh, this will be this is his third year at the club. Um, they obviously bought in Jeremy Doku, a, y a younger now. Grealish is what's going to be 27 going on 28, might even be 28 already. Um, th there's going to be there's going to be thoughts about what City are going to do with him. You know, he's got three years left on his contract come the summer. Um, you know, they're not in a massive rush to make a decision. I'd be surprised if if they sold him this summer. But the fact that Chelsea are discussing it and it's been reported that there's a there's a feeling within the football industry that City would be prepared to cash in on Grealish this summer makes you think that the possibility could happen. Now, I'm a big fan of Grealish. Great close ball control. Great dribbling. I think he's good in one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, he wins a lot of fouls. Stretches the play. Creates space for others. Drags drags defenders out of position. There's a lot of positives there. I, I really like what, what he offers. Um, look, I think he offers a lot, of what, a lot of what we're missing. A winning mentality. Premier League experience. And, and quality as well. Is he better than Noni Medawake? Yes, he absolutely is right now. Is he better than Mikhailo Mudrik? Yes, he is right now. Could either of those two players, if they hit their potential, be better than Jack Grealish? Yes, they potentially could be. But we're talking about his and nows. And if Jack Grealish was to come to Chelsea, he would be our best wide player. He's better than Raheem Sterling. He's better than, than Medawake. And he's better than Mikhailo Mudrik. Now, in terms of how much he would cost, I, I, I don't really know. I've got no idea what City might be asking for him. But the fact that Chelsea have internally discussed the move for Manchester City's Jack Grealish, goes to show that the club are thinking about attacking options. The club are perhaps looking to upgrade, looking to move certain players on. And they have identified Grealish as a uh, as a possible target, which I think is an interesting one, in, in, in my personal opinion. And I think despite the criticism he gets from, from people for what he's been doing at Manchester City, I think overall he's been a success there. I think he really has. Yes, the numbers haven't been great. Yes, the output's not been great. But his role on the side is very different to what he was doing at Aston Villa. And if Chelsea were to make a move for Jack Grealish, then I would absolutely be supporting that 100%. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Grealish. Um, and let, let's kind of wait and see what happens on that one. But guys, I mean, your thoughts on Jack Grealish to Chelsea? Do you think it would be a good move? Do you like the player? Do you think he would be an upgrade on what we've got? Do you think he, you know, it would be offering something that we currently 
uh, don't have at the club. Because for me, I think it's a, it would be a great move. And you know, I was disappointed that we didn't get him when uh, we were linked with him when he was at Aston Villa. Um, and I think he could have a very good career at Chelsea. The top players always want to always want to push themselves, always want to challenge themselves. Um, they always want to win. Um, you know, it's a challenge now to win at Chelsea. And I think Grealish would be an interest, a very interesting signing. And the fact that reportedly he's been discussed internally maybe suggests that there is a willingness to shift slightly away from this recruitment policy of purely signing young players. But moving away from Jack Grealish, let's talk about PSG's Javi Simons. Now, obviously, Simons is on loan at RB Leipzig. Um, he's having an exceptional season there. I think he's got 24 uh, GNA this season for the German side. Um, and he's attracting interest from a lot of teams. You know, obviously he's on loan at PSG. He was at PSV Eindhoven uh, in Holland, but of course PSG activated their buyback clause on him, bought him back and sent him on loan to RB Leipzig. I think originally he's a Barcelona Academy graduate from La Masia. Um, again, would they want to potentially bring him back? Who knows? But the fact that Chelsea are reportedly interested in him as well, Arsenal believed to be interested also in Simons. And unfortunately for us, you know, it's, it's it's a problem where Arsenal are a far more attractive proposition than Chelsea at this current point in time, which is really painful uh, to admit. But in terms of Simons as a player, I guess he's 21 years of age, but he does, he's ex, he does have experience. You know, he's played in the Champions League, he's played in the Bundesliga, he's played in the Eredivisie. You know, this is someone that, despite his young age, has got experience at the top level and a reasonable amount of it. You know, he's showing immense talent uh, that he's got, scores goals, creates goals, um, you know, from from, from attacking midfield. Um, he's, he's played wide for Leipzig at times. He's played as a tennis, played centrally, uh, in central midfield, sorry. And yeah, this kid looks to be, you know, a very, very talented boy. I'm not sure what PSG's plans are with him, but Fabrizio Romano uh, reporting that uh, PSG plan to deal with the future of Javi Simons uh, before the Euros. Leipzig would be happy to keep him on loan, but all possibilities are open, including staying at PSG. It's everything open now, according to Fabrizio. And again, with Chelsea, I look at this kind of profile of player. Exciting. Fits the age of obviously fits, fits the age model. Um, you know, fits the young talent, fits resale value, fits all these things. Could he come in and make an impact right now? That's the big question. And this is what I look at with a lot of young players that, that Chelsea are linked with, and just players in general coming to Chelsea. Have we right now got an environment within the club that is going to be conducive to young players hitting their potential that they, that they have, that they were signed to reach? I have Chelsea created an environment where these young players can thrive and flourish. And to be perfectly honest with me, I don't think we've got that right right now. I, I really don't think we've got it right in terms of creating the, an environment where young players can can push on and reach their potential. I think we've seen it many, many times before when talented players have come to Chelsea. It hasn't worked out. They've gone elsewhere and they've been a success. And we have to look at what we're doing. We have to look at the environment that we're creating. Are we doing everything we can as a football club to create the right environment for these players to succeed? And I think the answer to that is no, in, in my honest opinion. And I think, look, I like Javi Simons. Again, I think he's a very talented boy, offers a lot, um, 21 years old, an attacking midfield player. But again, I, I would look at that and I think, well, is are, are they looking at him as a potential Conor Gallagher replacement? Um, because I don't I don't see where else he comes in, in, into the thinking. You know, would you be having a Christopher Nkunku and Javi Simons as your two number 10 options? And Conor Gallagher gets sold. I'm not really sure. So it's all great to be linked with these sort of players and be discussing these types of targets internally. But what we've got to really think about is where would Javi Simons actually fit within the Chelsea squad? And for me personally, the only place I can see him fitting is as a rotation option with Christopher and Kunku for a number 10 role. What does that mean for the future of someone like Carney Chukwameka, for example? You know, we've got a lot of players on our books right now. When players start coming back from injury and hopefully they stay fit and don't have the same injury issues next season, there's going to be a lot of competition for places, a lot of players uh, in the squad, and we might only be playing once a week. So to the, the end, adding more players to an already congested part of the pitch wouldn't make sense to me. It would only make sense if there were departures being planned in the attacking areas this summer. And other than the obvious ones in Amanda Broya, I'm, I, I'm not seeing any obvious departures from an attacking standpoint coming this summer. I'm just not sure 
what the plans are. Yes, Raheem Sterling, it'd be great to move him on if we can, but no one's going to pay him the wages that we are right now. Um, I don't know what the plans are for Mikhailo Mudrik, as I said. I don't know what the plans are for Nani Medawake. Um, but then again, you look, you've got other guys. You've got Angelo that's going to come back. You've got Amari Hutchinson, who's had a, a brilliant loan spell at Ipswich Town in the Championship. You know, you've got all these players. What are we going to do with them? Um, I just think there needs to be a proper sit down, a proper thought process going through it. Look, I'd be all for the Jack Grealish signing, 100%. Um, Javi Simons, you know, it'd be great to have him, but like it's got to make sense and it's got to fit within the club and there's got to be opportunities for him there to go and play. There's no point signing these players if the opportunities aren't there to play them. Um, so yeah, guys, that's just, that's just my thoughts on a couple of transfer rumours that have been doing the rounds over the last day or so. Let me know your thoughts as always. Smash the like, subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you again in another one soon. Up the Chelsea and peace out.